What it do, Dream Team? Here we are back with another reaction video. We are back with the 1994 NBA Finals Game 1. And here we are finally in the fourth quarter to see how this game ends. So far, it hasn't been too great a game. I'd say both teams are very good defensively, whereas New York's very good physically. I feel like Houston's very good with their speed. Um, offensively, Houston's just got the edge right now. New York can't get a lot of shots to fall. They have a lot of open looks that they're just they're just not connecting. Uh, so I'm excited to see how this fourth quarter goes. Make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, get a video, thumbs up. Let's do it. It's been a hot and humid. Patrick Ewing and Akeem Olajuwon back on the floor. Olajuwon looking fatigued when he departed after picking up his third foul. He has 23 points and eight rebounds. Ewing 17 points and eight rebounds. To selling Maxwell in the back Here we go. Olajuwon up front with Ellie and Herrera. Here we go, Hakeem. Single coverage now on Olajuwon. Here's Ooh, the watch them feed. And Akeem Jesus. Intimidated by the defense of Patrick Ewing there, and Patrick didn't even have his hand up. Pat Riley called for get it down to him to start this fourth quarter. What we got, Patrick? Good Pat, you travel, but good look. Ah, uh, you gotta hit that, Patrick. Come on, man. Jesus, that man Maxwell came out. I thought he was a flash for a minute, dog. No double team on Akeem My name is Vernon right Maxwell, box, and I am the Flash. A little bit uncertain. There are three guards for each team out on the floor, keeping the floor spread. So lots of room. Yeah, he, he might have walked too. Takes that first move Jesus. away from him with that little bump, forces him back to the jump hook, and Akeem put up the air ball. Well, Vernon Maxwell, who had promised to quiet down, was just hit with a technical foul. I'm sure he took exception mm. to the hard foul that time by Hubert Davis as he went into the basket, probably asking for some kind of a flagrant foul. But for the most part, Maxwell has kept himself under control. He realizes how important he is to this team. He told us yesterday he is the emotional leader, and we heard him at halftime expressing himself to the rest of the team. Uh, scary. You got to hear one of them, Vernon. But I think his teammates respect some of the <laughs> It's a little bit scary he's an emotional leader, but... Technical foul of the playoffs. Jesus, Tim. What is happening here? Are they kicking somebody out? Apparently upset. We'll check it out for you. Now, this is not something. There you go. Very frequently, we have this year. We have seen some radio announcers ask to leave. Oh, apparently the fan was torn. We get. Come on, bro. Jesus, man. My heavens. If New York can't hit that shot, then Patrick Ewing can't be effective. Because you just continue to trap him. My days. To 63. Back to the subject of Vernon Maxwell. Okay, come on, man. There you go. There you, and one. Ah, good, good pump fake, though. Great pump fake. He has so many different ways to hurt you. Primarily facing up uh, at the basket. He can put the ball on the floor, make that little pivot, spin away from you. Gotta give me one of them, Hakeem. There we go. And head fakes. He can get the defender up in the air. We just saw that little reverse kick there. Of course, a soccer player in Nigeria, handball, volleyball. 24 and 8. He's having a pretty good game. Until he was 17 years old. Yes, he prefers soccer and. Team handball his parents and yeah, he's too big to play soccer. In athletics. But his older brother talked them into changing their good try. Went to a team There handball. you good call, Ralph. Good call, good call. For the Rockets. They're up by 12. Here we go, Patrick. Hey, Patrick is a beast down there, bro. 19 
Patrick really taking it to Hakeem. And he's playing amazing defense. Amazing defense, man. He's playing amazing defense. But the call that it was not deflected by the Knicks. It was Elijah all the way on that shot. Good defensive job by Patrick Ewing, but it certainly appeared that he Ooh, did Ooh, it's either a foul or a block. You got to call a foul or a block, Ralph, but... The shooting is horrific in New York. It's horrific. Here we go, Hakeem. Go ahead, give it back. Oh, good look. Ooh. Yo, my God. He had his whole shorts balled up in his head. Jesus. Oh, my bad. As to the reason the fan was thrown out a moment ago, he said over abusive in terms of his language. I asked Jack, has he ever thrown out a fan before? He said the defense. That was not the first. Ten point lead for the Rockets. Both teams dropping off considerably. Good look. Good two man game. Beautiful. Good shot. Well, keep an eye on Carl Herrera. He's going to shuffle his feet here. A little hop step and a jump. Got away with a walk, but able to split the front line defense of the Knicks and get into that little layup. And I think when Carl Herrera went into the game early in the first half, I think Rudy was just kind of taking a look at him to see what kind of condition he's in. He's had a very good week of practice. He's been out for three weeks with that uh, dislocated shoulder, but he played so well that he has gotten extended. There you go. And he has been New York needs some, man. Herrera, five of six, ten points. Davis with his first point. Both of them right through the net. 1986 finals a moment ago. Akeem Olajuwon, the only current rocket to play in that series. One yes, trip lane. to the finals for Akeem in the second year in the league. Don't force it. Travel. Don't force it, man. Well, the next point guards, Derek Harper and Greg Anthony, continue to do a good job on set. Um, great defense. Penetrating into the lane. Great he defense. the defense down. He can create a lot of shots for people. He makes that little good dish off to a larger one or kick out to the open shooter. It's going with Anthony and Davis in the back. You got to. You got to. Jesus Christ. I don't know what more Patrick Ewing can do. Anthony passed on the three. The shot, lots of time of the 24, and a foul against the Rockets. Oakley, like the my foul. days, dog. Charles Oakley playing with the tender left ankle and was pushed down. Foul. How more open can you? That's, That's definitely not a travel. Maybe getting away with a step. I don't know. I think he got that pivot foot down. That's not a travel, if you ask me. Before it comes down, if you don't get down on these big guys, once they get into their move, these guards, bro. How did New York get here shooting like this is what I want to know. Knicks have hit only one of their last 13 shots. Trailing by 10 points. Ewing. Knicks not getting... I think now he's just forcing Patrick Ewing to have to take these tougher outside shots for him where he can't just work down low because... The, the guards can't make open looks. Nobody's making these open looks. Patrick is getting them off of double teams. Therefore, Patrick can't work down low. So you see him having to come out more, having to shoot these jumpers more. 
And you know what? Your first instinct is to say, Patrick, get get back on the block. What are you doing? But it's like, no, they're going to bring the double. He's going to swing at somebody. They're going to miss a wide open shot. He's like, my best chance is me shooting the ball. So if I got to stretch out a little bit, I guess that's what I got to do. Good shots. Well, when Patrick has gotten the ball inside, he draws that double team, and then they have gotten good shots. But right now, he is spending too much time on the perimeter looking for the jump shot. The Knicks should be thinking about trying to take the ball to the basket after the ball comes out of the double team from Patrick Ewing because they just cannot make a jump shot right now. Gilbert Davis called for the foul. His second. Rockets uh, doing an excellent job defensively. This is a Houston team that has come a long way on the defensive end. Two years ago, they allowed 104 points per game. Last Easy. season, 99 points per game. Hey, Patrick so, Ewing is playing amazing defense, dog. In the NBA. Elijah Juan was looking a lot better in that first half. Davis for Ewing. Ewing being played by Herrera. Very defense. Rockets allowed just under 97 points per game. Fifth in the league this season. Shot clock at eight. Ewing. Oh, that's so tough of a shot. See, you got to hit that. There we go. Okay. Finally hit. They were one for the last 15. And they continue to take those perimeter jumpers. Now, when Akeem Olajuwon is in the lane, you're not going to get too much going to the basket. But at this point, you've got to challenge him, get him up in the air, and dish off to an open man inside. Oakley went down on the fake by Ori. Ori picked up by Mason. Timeout was called. Welcome back to Walt the Rock. Six quarter to go in the fourth quarter. The Rockets lead by eight. Shot clock running down. They had to fling it. Well, Pat Riley going with Greg Anthony at the point guard position. Hubert Davis at the shooting guard up front. Patrick there we go. Anthony Mason and Charles Oakley. Nick's not able there to we go. the offense. Here's Mason. There we, there we go. That's the shot we want Patrick shooting. That's the shot. That close to the basket. Great ball movement. Well, Houston ain't shot much better. Great defense, man. Here we go. Keep moving the ball. Move it. There we go. Get, come on, Charles. Ah. Ori ran right out of him. Even though they didn't get the field goal, they got a good shot in rhythm once again because the ball went inside. Pat Riley was concerned that the three-point shot would hurt him. The Rockets only four for 16. But the reason they're hitting this ball game doing an excellent job on the backboard. Shot clock at five. Elijah Watt on the spin. Great. You out of bounds. Yep. Oh, my God. No, he was out. That basket can't count. Let me see. It might have been a foul. Oh, that was a different play. No way. No way. We're not giving him that. And I like Cookie. But we're not giving him that. Pat Riley will stay with Patrick Ewing. He was able to get away with it in the game on Sunday against Indiana. Now 519 remaining in the fourth. Ewing playing with the five. Rocket 79 and the Knicks 71. Elijah Wan has only three fouls. Guarded by Maxwell, who's an excellent defender. Hubert Davis has been off. Great defense. Now, Hubert trying to get the ball inside to Patrick Ewing. Picked his dribble up before he got into better passing position. Elijah Wan now played by Mason. Ewing drifting around. Guarding Thorpe outside. You're not going to get Mason that up there. He's like, throw it up. Ewing. Cash. That's the shot. He's going to hit that all day. He's going to hit that one all day. 
last couple of trips. That time it was Mason to break up the pass and start a New York Knicks fast break. Rockets with 18 turnovers. That has really hurt them. 4.20 to go in the fourth. The Knicks with 11 turnovers. Ori going to the left. Yup, yeah, block and foul. He was fouled by Mason. Good call. Nice roll by second too late did not establish that position and Ori gets the call will go to the free throw line Robert Ori number one draft pick last year out of Alabama had a solid rookie season out of 10 points per game Rockets wanted him to shoot more he has become more aggressive in an odd season for Robert Ori because mm. he was all but traded to the Detroit Pistons the deal rescinded the deal involving Sean Elliott because Sean Elliott did not pass the physical. And Ori had to come back, handled it very well, and has played even better since his return. And one of the reasons why he handled it so well was the way Rudy Tomjanovich handled it before. Got to get one of them, Rudy. Robert. Got to have one of them. So it made the comeback a lot easier. However, Ori won a four from the line. And the Knicks are down by only six. Ewing facing the double Oh, great defense. That was going to be a great rotation. Trying to get it out. Smith was right there. Rockets have led by as many as 12. Now lead by six. Maxwell. No way. Awful shot. Great defense. Mason. Great deep. Oh. Good defense, but that was a good move, Mason. With his 14th rebound. Charles Oakley working extremely hard on the offensive boards. Couldn't come away with one there, but Patrick Ewing was about 28 feet away from the basket on that particular shot by Mason. And, and it looks like the only way the Knicks can get back in this game is climb on the glass. Smith with one on the Here we go. Just did get a piece of the rim. Knicks on the run. Davis Need it. Tried the three. Rebound Mason. Mason to the rim. And one. God dang. Mason. That stocky build. Got people bouncing right off of him. Because all of these offensive rebounds. But Mason with the pump fan. Points. And the Rockets with only seven. Rockets with a 79-75 lead with 2.53 to go in the fourth. So for the second half, the Knicks with 29 points and the Rockets with 25. This after the Rockets were able to score 54 in that first half. Well, Vernon Maxwell and John Starks virtually canceling each other out at the offensive end. Neither one shooting particularly well, but we pointed out at the beginning how important it was for them both to keep their composure. Maxwell has a technical in the game, and John Starks has been really frustrated with oh. his teammates for much of the night. Oh, so, that was close, Ralph. Oh, the ball goes back to the Rockets. Elijah on was called for the foul that put Mason at the line for the potential three-point play. So Elijah Wan has four. Ewing has five. A poor shooting second half. Rockets led by as many as 12. Now clinging to a four-point lead. Maxwell for Elijah. Oh, that's a bucket. By Mason. That's a bucket. Mason with the save. Nine rebounds for Mason. This now is the Knicks type of game. Grinding it out. Low scoring. Nice. Good call. Nice job, John. John to the basket and John trying to take it to the other side of the rim to protect that shot from getting blocked. Initiated the contact as he could have into but nevertheless the foul on a king. That was close, bro. Starks, hey, man. Hey, man. You ain't got New York nothing tonight, dog. Nothing. The Knicks have 
mixing up their coverage on Elijah Wan all night long. Mason guarding him now, mainly because Patrick Ewing has those five personal. The Rocket lead is only three. Houston with only eight points the last 10 minutes and 45 seconds. We come up on two minutes to go. Smith there you go. Oh, my God. Oh, that's New York ball. That's New York rock. Good, yeah, good call, good call. I actually thought Kenny Smith missed that shot on purpose to the right side of the rim because he saw that Thorpe had that inside offensive rebounding position. Boy, he should have made it. No. 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 Says Jack Matt. It is an air ball for Starks. He should have just gave it in there to Patrick. The Knicks with a 13 4 run, but they have not been popping up the field goals. Shot clock at eight, and Mason using too much pressure call for the foul. A hard hand check ruled on Mason. That is his fifth, and Elijah Wan will go to the line. Akeem shooting 77% during the playoffs. Oh, yeah. They say you can't put both hands on them, can you? A lot of pushing, a lot of shoving, and a lot of fronting. And the reason Mason is upset. and he's got This man right really got Knicks cut into his head. To the line. John Starks continues to struggle. That last shot he took was a wild one. Forced too soon. But Pat Riley trying to show that he has confidence in John. Leaving him in there to see if he can help pull this one out. For the next. Well, Elijah Watt hit his four point game. At the line. Houston players trying to get the crowd going. Ori and Maxwell waving their hands. Oh, my God. It will be Houston ball. Anthony and Starks not able to hook up on that exchange. A oh, miscommunication on this pass. As the pressure from Kenny Smith had a lot to do with it, and also Maxwell pounding Starks coming out to the wing. There you go. That's how you penetrate, god dang it. That's a ball game. If New York could shoot threes, I'd say they had a chance, but... They came, the so they don't. Five of 19. Houston only two of 12, but the Knicks in the second half, 11 for 45, 24%. And the Rockets, 8 of 30. Uh, did I speak too soon? With his first field goal right did I speak too soon? Just under one minute to go. Oh, that was just the two. Never mind. I spoke correctly. 15 to 10 here in the fourth quarter, able to cut into that 12 point lead. Rockets now try to hold on. 45 seconds. 10 on the shot clock. Oh, that was close. No way. Oh. You got to hurry up. You got to hurry up. Definitely not. Oh, that was closer than I thought it would be. They're going to have to foul him. Oh, really? Yeah, I was like, that joker, that was in there. No way. Way off. 
Jesus Christ, dog. second half and you have to give a lot of credit to both defenses both of these teams played very hard both teams look very very tired for different reasons the layoff for Houston I'm sure had something to do with it and the Knicks coming off the draining seven game series against Indiana and the seven game series against Chicago it has not been pretty but the both teams have something to build on and go to game two with yeah That's over. And when I said it, their goal seems to be fatigued out of 22 from the field. A fewest points in a quarter and fewest points in a half. They've combined for 28 points in the fourth quarter, only 63 points in the second half. Ewing from three point land, and time has run out on the New York Knicks. The Houston Rock. I'll just say, um, <laughs> after watching the Bulls in these finals, that game was a little underwhelming, dog. Uh, I feel like when I got to see Chicago and Phoenix, it was fun. Uh, Chicago and Portland wasn't as fun as Phoenix and Chicago. Uh, but you got to see Mike go crazy. But that game, it just, Jesus Christ, New York. Like, my God, dog. <laughs> How many open looks does Patrick Ewing have to create before he all decide to make a shot? I don't know if there's a lid on the basket in Houston. I don't know what was going on, dog. But my days. They're wide open. Mid-range. Knock it down. Houston, y'all wasn't no better in the second half. My Jesus, bro. These, but... New York did play amazing defense. Houston does have great defense. But my, I, I don't know if this was first game jitters. Like he said, coming off a long stretch. Got to get back in your groove. Or as New York, fighting a hard seven game series. Need a little bit of rest. I don't know what it is. But I can't watch. I can't watch. If every game like this, dog. Jesus. I can't watch. We're going to see. Uh. We're going to jump in game two next. If you guys enjoyed that reaction, make sure you check this one out. Subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. It's your boy, Daniel. Out.